Right, we're going to walk you up the glamping path and... Hang a right and go in front of the castle, yeah. the back of the castle, <laughs> where all the guests will be. Yeah. Okay, so this is a sort of woodland pathway that we've made. Um, we've done these all throughout the um, area down here and they all lead to the glamping pods that we've installed. Um, got a little picnic area here and a petrified tree. I learnt that last week. That means that it's dead and it needs to come down but actually it's quite pretty. Um, so cold. Right, so up here we have visions of having a lovely pergola in here for people to sit and look across the lawn. Um, here we've installed a little lovelock gate which goes out onto the very icy lawn. You'll see quite a lot of people who've been glamping here have put lots of lovely locks on here. And there's a tree lined avenue that runs all the way through the estate um, to the horses stables um, where they used to have all the carriages and the washrooms as well for the castle in a completely separate building. So just show you a little bit of the lawn here. So here we are. This is the back of the castle. But actually, it's quite pretty. Yeah, it used to be the front. And then when they did the extensions in the 1860s, they swapped the front for the back. Yes. So this has still got quite a lot to clear out. And um, I mentioned our pond attempts earlier. Here it is. Oh, and there's a tree root which we haven't managed to get rid of yet. And there's a bit of chainsaw on it. So this is the beautiful building. Um, it's got some fantastic features. Look at those turrets. They're really lovely. Um, and you can see the staircase there at the bottom, which is what we found when we cleared all of this. This was all completely full see, of trees. You couldn't see you could probably make out the top of the castle, the top floor, that was it. You mm. genuinely couldn't see it. The, the local um, gamekeeper uh, came go. up to do a few bits for us and he stood here for about 20 minutes. Said it, it's the first time I've seen the back of the castle in 40 years. So, that forgot, was forgot nice. the lower floor was there. So, there you go, that's that. It's very, very pretty. So, this is that staircase that we found there. Um, I'll just spin you around. So this is our lawn, or small part of it. And this is where we will be having marquee weddings uh, later on in the year. So that's that. So you asked us what we wanted to do um, for the castle for the future. I think it's changed quite a bit since we moved in, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, so, you know, it, it would be sacrilege to let, you know, a single family live here and not share it. It needs to be shared with the community. It needs to be shared with people who have helped get involved with it and have, have the same passion for it that we do. So whatever form that takes, we will be sharing it as best we possibly can. Maybe live in it, maybe have a small event space. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But ultimately, the business we have here needs to be able to sustain the castle, so it's mm -hmm. never allowed to get into the state of sin again. Years ago, um, the villagers used to have pony clubs up here. Um, we'd love to do that sort of thing. Uh, the village fates always used to be up here. That will hopefully be, you know, reinstated yeah. pretty soon. Um, we yeah. had a really nice guy contact us, didn't we, the about scouts. the scouts? Yeah, yeah I think he's re that's really tentative early day discussions about them coming to do, you know, overnight sleepovers and then tents and do, you know, working with wood and all that kind of stuff. So um, there's lots of opportunity for, you know, the the area to be given back. 
mm. and to give back to the, the scout movement in Muthal started here at Coldies. They had their first first overnight camp down on the waterfall, um, just the other side of that fence there. Um, so it'd be really lovely if we if we could get them back up and you know this place has to make money and we have to run it as a business to be able to afford to live here and to maintain it. So yes, um, we'll be using it for weddings, we'll be using it for events, um, but also really to use it for the rest of the village as well. I said about putting um, memorabilia, oh, it's really raining now, uh, memorabilia back in the courtyard and I hope to turn it into some sort of local gallery um, and history project. Um, you know, we've talked about having local colleges come here um, to learn how to do stone masonry, all sorts of, all yeah. sorts of ideas we've got. Um, some of them a little bit more harebrained than others, but eventually, room by room, it will get restored. And I'm sure that our plans and our visions will change as we go along. But at the moment, that's what we have got in our minds, yeah. isn't it? And um, it's really raining now, so uh, gonna go. we're going to go <laughs> get some lunch. <laughs> Bye.